Welcome to another episode of Life is Tiff. And tonight we are going to cheat and make a cheating um, shrimp Alfredo. So, of course, in my regular style, this is going to be a quick meal. So tonight you're going to need some type of pasta um, with a creamy sauce. I get mine from Aldi. I use two boxes for my family. And because I got that bag of shrimp from Walmart yesterday that cost me, what, $13? Um, this was a two-pound bag. Um, I'm using pretty much almost like the other half tonight for dinner. So I've already thawed those out, and so now we're going to cook it up. I have prepared the pasta in the uh, directions uh, that you get in the back with the amount of stuff. I just don't add the extra butter because I don't feel that I need the extra butter. But you do you. So now all we're going to do, so the pasta is actually off, off to the side here. And it is resting because the sauce needs to thicken. So right now, just turning on that fur. Hoping not to burn you guys up in the camera. And we're about to saute the shrimp up. So basically all we're going to do is saute the shrimp up. And then we're going to add it to the pasta. Now you can do this with, once again, you can do this with chicken. You can do this with shrimp. You can do this with whatever type of protein you want. Um, but just keep in mind, I try to keep things lower budget and um, also very quick. So the pasta in and itself, it says cooks in five minutes, but I don't think that that's true. I don't, maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe I don't cook it that fast. But I would say probably like, maybe like 10 minutes, 12 minutes. I don't really know. But anyway, so like I said, that's off to the side here. And now we're going to wait for this pan to get hot. And we are going to add our shrimp. Now, um, I'm going to season mine up the way that I want it. But you can season yours up however way you want it. So, or you can marinate your shrimp ahead of time. So, see, these were straining, or I don't know. Yeah. So, we're going to just add the shrimp in there. And to mine, I'm going to add some garlic powder. Add a little bit of Old Bay. Because Old Bay just goes with our, uh, seafood. Add a little bit of onion powder. I think that's it for the onion powder. Got to get some more. And I will add salt. Pepper. And you know shrimp don't take long to cook. But like I said, you can do... Um, you know what I was thinking? You could also, if you have a rotisserie chicken, that would be another really good thing to just cut it up and add that to your, your pasta. And then I'm going to add some jerk seasoning. So mine is going to be a jerk pasta because whatever you add to your protein is going to really flavor up your pasta. I probably should have waited like a couple seconds till the pan was a little hot. -er. But I'm hoping you guys can, uh, I feel like the color is kind of blown out. So I'm going to try to see if I can fix that a little bit as the shrimp is cooking. I am trying to fix the lighting and this is what happens when you are not a YouTuber and you have to get your whole life together. So we're going to try and see if we can fix that. A little bit. Hmm. Maybe that did fix it a little bit. Let's 
So you just basically want to saute that. And normally I would do both things at the same time. But because I didn't want you guys to have to wait on the pasta to cook, I kind of just cooked it ahead of time. I think that's blowing it out a little bit more. Oh, too right, too right. Oh, look, you can kind of see the shrimp a little bit. We're just going to mix that up. I don't know if that made it any better. Or if it made it worse. But you also don't over, want to overcook your shrimp. So just be very careful and cook it to your style. But you could also do like a really nice scampi by adding some lemon juice, some white wine, a little bit of cheese. And like I said, this um, pasta is a Parmesan cheese one. They have one that has different, they have different flavors and you can uh, get whatever suits you and suits your family. So those shrimp are pretty cooked. I don't want them to be overcooked. So I'm going to stop that. And I'm just going to swap out my pans real quick so I, you, I can show you what the finished pasta looks like. So it's been sitting there since I was cooking the um, shrimp. Woo, it's a little steamy. The camera's right there. Sorry, guys. Try and move. So this is the pasta kind of just uh, moving that about. Now I'm going to add my shrimp, my jerk shrimp to that. And we are just going to mix that up. So that's it. That's your finished product. That is a jerk shrimp Alfredo, somewhat, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And like I said, if you enjoy what you're seeing, please. Um, like it, please comment and also share and subscribe. Hope you guys have a great night. Bye-bye.